What is up you guys, Illinois Outdoorsman, and today, I don't know if you guys can see right here, got something special. In my last video, I talked about building an overland rig, and we have got a big piece of that that will get attached to the truck. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing, you guys. This is going to be sweet. I'll leave a link to this in the comments down below as well, so stay tuned, you guys. All right, you guys, what we got here, this big box, this box, for a size comparison, I'm six foot five. And this box, you guys, is eight foot, at least, every bit of it. Um, but what this is, you guys, is this is an awning to put on the side of the truck. A big eight foot, I think they measured out eight foot by eight foot, just to shade over. So we're going to put an awning on the side of this truck. I also picked up. I'll show you guys here in a minute. Let's unbox this and then we'll get to the rest of my plans for turning this Tahoe into an overland rig. So here we go. This thing has got tape everywhere, so we're just gonna cut all the tape. Oh, I'm not sure how this box opens. Somewhere, you guys. And um, just so you guys know, we may not get this install done. My truck does not fit in the garage with the lift kit and the roof basket on it. And we got a pretty severe storm coming, so we may end up having to finish the install on this tomorrow. But we're at least going to open it up, take a look at it. <clears throat> So right off the bat, get this bag. This is all wrapped in foam to protect it. This bag, I do believe, yeah, is hardware for mounting it. The stakes, to get hardware, stakes, the wrenches, guy lines, and more hardware, you guys. So the hardware I'm seeing here, there's two sets of L bracket, or one set of L brackets and some straight pieces of steel um, actually looks fairly good quality it's fairly thick stuff too so I mean it's gonna hold up so all comes in this nice fancy bag here this is supposed to be also inside of a water it's Amazon so we're gonna call it water resistant um, cut these without cutting the bag itself. Got instructions, you guys. We'll probably take a look at them, doubt we'll use them, but we're gonna look at them. Right off the bat, you guys, let me change this so you're not, I'm not trying to look down into this. All right, right off the bat, you guys, this thing is heavy duty. It's got a big aluminum strap on the back of it to mount it. The bag has got like buckles on it to buckle it all in there. And I do believe I ordered the tan one because the other one, yeah tan almost white got the legs fold out of it it's all enclosed in a nice pretty compact little deal um kind of impressed with it to be honest with you straps they are not adjustable but keep some tension on the bag so that's all that really matters so let's take a look at the instructions here let me see how this is supposed to mount up and we'll go from there all right, so as you guys can see here, here's the mounting instructions. It goes over the crossbars. 
on the side. Put the L-shaped mounting bracket to your roof bar using. Okay, so we're gonna use the side bar on here. This is actually perfect. This is gonna work out really well. Sliding it in there. Um, this is how the awning's gonna look. But also the, where did I see that? The 4.6 foot one is designed for the rear of the vehicle. I'm planning on using the hatch of my vehicle for the rear one, so we're out camping, we flip open the hatch up, safety cautions, check your bolts, parts list, installation steps. So pretty straightforward, you guys. Um, we're going to get the mounting brackets put up in here, and then it should actually go pretty quick. So we might get this thing opened up and tested at least opened up and look at it before the storm hits. So let's quit wasting time and get to it. Okay, you guys, instructions, just back up. Brackets, hardware, comes with a wrench, two wrenches. They're 13 on one side, a 10 mil on the other. I got my own in a socket. We're gonna make this go a heck of a lot quicker. So let me open this other door up. I'm standing here on the steps of the truck just this a little bit I, sorry the camera's cockeyed you guys your one leg of the tripods on the light bar the other two are on the roof of the truck so what we're going to do here is get our hardware kind of pour it out set it all here on the roof bag in the pocket we're going to use the long ones To do, 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 do. bolt in from the bottom. And you guys, I can tell the issue right here off right off the bat is these bolts are not going to be long enough. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to revert the plan B. Um, and we are going to go right off on the roof rack. We're only going to lose the way this is. I can make up most of this. We're going to lose about six inches. But that's okay. I'm not terribly worried about that. It doesn't come with any washers. It does come with lock nuts. So, and this is where I'm glad we have the ratchet because these are nylon lock nuts they have the little bit of nylon in them to lock them in there so we're gonna go 10 mil
both doggies in the house. All right, you guys, if you guys can't tell or hear it, it's uh, starting to rain. I got the mounting brackets on. Cool, the dog's in the house. Hurry up, hurry up. Um, got the mounting brackets on. So those brackets are on there. They wouldn't fit around the OEM bar, so they were going to be on the roof basket. We're going to lose a little bit of cover, but ain't much that's going to matter. Go, Daisy, house. Come on, Cam. I told him to go let the dogs in the house, and the dog didn't want to go, out, go in the house. She would much rather stay out here in the rain, but she's going to be a big muddy mess. She likes to play in the mud. And Mama's not going to have that all over the carpet, so. <clears throat> right now, I should probably close my door. So, right now, you guys can tell. I don't know how well you can tell. Right there. And right there, we have the brackets put on the truck. Got the instructions and stuff back in here. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to see what I can do to prep for the next part and see if there's any prep work I can do. I may just go ahead and finish putting this on in the rain, show you guys the finished product. So, so I kind of want to get it done. I'm excited. I'm kind of like a kid in a candy store right now. So stay tuned, you guys. All right, you guys. So as you can see behind me here, I've got it put on. Um, to be honest, I put it on upside down the first time. I was like, oh, it don't look right. Because the legs are mounted in there, so it comes out over. I had legs on top instead of the bottom, so it took me longer. Otherwise, I would have it set up. So you guys can hear the thunder, crack of lightning, and the storm's like three, four miles out. Um, but I do have it on, so it's pretty sturdy mounted. I mean, this is just the tarp itself kind of flopping in the bin here, but it's not going anywhere. So I'm kind of excited to see how it works. Um, Cameron and me, depending on how he is tomorrow when I pick him up, we may go to the creek and go fishing again. See if we can catch a couple more smallmouth. But I will definitely be giving you guys at least pictures with this thing opened all the way up. And hopefully in use but to go back we're gonna go over here i got it sitting on the back of the boat um in the video where i caught my first smallmouth you guys i talked about turning that thing back there into an overland rig so good old facebook special is a one time been used one time coleman gas stove it came with two cans of gas, which have the wrong fitting on them, but these will fit my backpack stove. I had to buy the adapter for my backpack stove to fit these big one pounders. Um, but this thing, the feet come off of it, so you can take the feet off of it. I'm gonna make a, build a pull out kitchen to go in the back of this with some drawers. One drawer will be for that one's storage for stuff. And then also plan on making it a bed but in order to keep the back seats for the two little ones, I gotta be able to have that bed fold up. So I wanna be able to make it fold up, build a center console out, and then just have two that would flip over to where the back seats were because the back seats fold flat to the floor. So I'll have like four foot drawers in here, all that. And I got a lot of projects coming up. Move the spare tire, put a mount in the back for the spare tire. My dad mentioned, hey, put it in the front. You got you a push bumper now. I don't know if I might put it in the front, I don't know. But for right now, we have the awning installed. I will take pictures once it quits raining. I can get the awning all set up, you guys. I am looking forward to some overlanding. I know Cameron likes going camping, don't you, Cameron? Mm -hmm. You like going camping? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and maybe we go camping in the truck? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go hopefully try out some overlanding, get a kitchen set up so we're not starving. But if you guys like this video or you wanna... <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Um, if you guys want to see some overlanding videos, I would definitely like to go overlanding. If you guys have any tips, tricks for overlanding with little monsters, um, drop them in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I plan on bringing you guys along on this build. If you like this, you want to see a build, make sure you guys subscribe. We're going to try and make some great videos. But until next time, you guys... We will see you out there.
So see you out there. See you out there.